you're like, this is great. I freeze my food. I love the fact that you're freezing your cookies. We have a fresh baked cookie. And then some people don't get it at all. They're like, why would I want a frozen cookie? And it's not about it being frozen. It's about it being fresh. Hi, I'm Paige Flynn, head cookie fairy, owner of Cookie Fairy Sweet, based here in Brooklyn, New York. Cookie Fairy Sweets is an all-natural, 100% preservative-free cookie company. What makes our cookies so unique is that they are fresh baked and then frozen. And so by freezing them, you're naturally eliminating using any preservatives. So they'll actually stay fresh in your freezer, already baked uh, for six months. By having a cookie that's fresh baked and frozen, you're, we're naturally eliminating using any harsh chemicals, um, and any preservatives. So it's really the most purest way that you can have a fresh baked cookie. I think it appeals to anybody who's looking for a preservative free cookie, an all natural cookie, a cookie that uses organic ingredients. So when you're ready to have a cookie, you just take it out of the freezer. Um, you can put it in the toaster oven for a few seconds. You can leave it on your counter for about 20 minutes. Or if you're like me, you just eat it straight from the freezer. Going to the grocery store is not the first place that you look to find a cookie. You're like, I'm going to go to the cookie aisle because that's where my cookies are found. Or I'm going to go to the cash register and that's where my cookies are found. So we're trying to get people to rethink where they buy their cookies. I launched Cookie Fairy Sweets um, October 2011, so it's just been a year. is really small, but I am kind of a dynamo in the kitchen. I'm pretty fast. Um, I've gotten really fast at it. There's only so fast that I can go based in the oven that I'm in, because it's kind of a small oven. But um, per day, I can pump out, I can pump out easily 560 cookies a day. This is our secret ingredient that we're letting you in on, because I honestly believe that this butter is what makes our cookies so delicious. And it just like, it's more moist. The cookies come out more moist with this butter, more tender. Um, our cookies have a very rich, buttery taste. People, a lot of people tell us how they can taste the butter. Not, it's not, it's just like a, it's like a perfect combination of butter. three cookies that we currently produce. Uh, we have the My Man's, we have a Little Devil's, and we have Oats and Raisins. Um, the Little Devil's is a fully loaded chocolate cookie that has hints of spice. I actually use a Chinese spy spice um, to get some of the flavors in there. And then the third one is Oats and Raisins, and it's a traditional oatmeal raisin, but the raisins have been soaked in rum. So it makes the cookie really chewy. It's a, it's a chewy oatmeal raisin, and a lot of people are like, you have to tell people that it's chewy because a lot of oatmeal raisins are like that crunchy oatmeal raisin, and uh, these are chewy and delicious. So this is this is what makes the My Man. So when you bite into a My Man cookie, um, you're biting into, you can think about biting into your man, maybe your man tastes like this. Um, it's rich, uh, there's dark chocolate, there's milk chocolate, there's semi-sweet chocolate in there, there's chewiness from the oatmeal, there's a nuttiness from the pecans, you have like a nutty, buttery taste, and um, then there's coconut. Now we are going to add my man, and this is it right here. Well, we had always talked about starting a business, um, and what that business was, we were just trying to find in our own way of life of where we were going to take our next steps. And these cookies, really, with this one recipe, and it was such a funny name, My Man. Um, and when my mom used to make this when I was a kid, I was like, that is such a silly name. It's like My Man Cookies. But it really, it's like, it was. I ended up making them for my man. And so that was really where it kind of just making them, um, and then James calling me the cookie fairy, and there was all these like little things in life that just kind of kept coming together, where it was just all this inspiration just to like, you know what, what are we waiting for, let's do it, let's just go for it, we'll see what happens, and so far so good.
Mando. This is the completed final phase of the My Mando. And what you can see here is all of this like really yummy texture. You can see all these like little pieces of coconut and chocolate chips and pecans. And it just makes for something extra special. two years be all the way down the East Coast um, and then in seven years be um, in all 50 states. But I really I think that being in the freezer is what makes us so unique. Um, it's something totally different. Uh, we're hoping to be you know an industry leader where people can say okay you know what this is a really it's a great idea more and more companies should do this. Not to, to have it so that people can have freshness. You know, let's have something fresh every day on for our children, for ourselves. There's bread in the freezer that's amazing. There's a lot of things in the freezer, and the freezer is, should be your best friend because it's a pretty awesome place to be.